Welcome to the next diaper test. Which brand has been neglected on my channel lately? That's right, Tykables. Let's change that and take a look at the Tykables overnights in this video. It's a new addition with the wide cut that has become typical for Tykables. The original overnights with a normal cut have been around for a long time. Unfortunately, the manufacturer does not make the versions recognizable in the name, so they are not so easy to tell apart. The packaging has a colorful print, a trend that has been around for a few months and has been adopted here. Unusual, the front of the pack has a transparent viewing window through which you can see almost the entire first diaper. I haven't seen this in other packs. The diaper is printed with bears in different colors and some outfits. This is somewhat reminiscent of gummy bears. It is printed over the entire surface in a similar way to the front. Yellow stars can be seen in the background of the motifs. They stand out slightly from the motif and that is intentional, they are a creatively integrated wetness indicator. This is rather unusual for ABDL diapers, but recently I've seen a few who want to change this. Some make a simple strip, like the medical ones. I think it's nicer when it's integrated into the design, as with this diaper. Of course, you can argue about whether this is necessary at all. Most of you will probably be able to tell for yourselves when a change is due without such aids. Tykables relies exclusively on hook and loop fasteners. This works as usual, I didn't notice anything here, either positive or negative. The wide cut is noticeable as soon as you put them on. You can clearly feel that there is quite a bit of absorbent material between the legs, but it still feels comfortable and also adapts well to your own body. A look at the scale confirms this. At 234 grams empty weight, it is well above the average of other diapers. Not every ABDL diaper contains this much material. However, it is not enough for first place. Some are a little thicker, such as the Little Rascals or Tiny Tails, both of which I have already tested in practice. I find the outer material particularly pleasant. Tykables uses foil, as is usual with most ABDL diapers. However, not all films are the same, there are different types. For example, they differ in thickness and feel against the skin. The Tykables Overnights have a relatively stable film that is particularly soft to the touch. This soft film probably makes the diaper nice and loose. Even the first ones from a new pack don't need to be kneaded or folded, they adapt immediately to the body and are not rigid, like the crinkles, for example. Although, of course, this is a completely different price range. The Overnights currently cost €28.90 for a pack of 10, which works out at €2.89 per individual diaper. In comparison with others, this is a good mid-range price, many ABDL diapers are between 2 euros and 3 euros each. This becomes interesting when compared to the absorbency. In the practical test, the diaper reached a maximum weight of over 2.3 kilograms in several measurements, the stars disappeared wherever the diaper got wet. A good result on a par with the NRU Tinimals, for example, and only slightly worse than the Little Rascals V2. That's something to be proud of. In terms of price, the gap to the Little Rascals is manageable, it is 20 cents cheaper per diaper. It's a different story with the Tinimals, which costs 20 cents more than the Overnights, breaking the 3 euros mark. Compared to the Little Rascals V2, the Tinimals is even 40 cents more expensive per diaper. In other words, the Tykables from this practical test is in the middle of the field. Such small differences are normal and can sometimes be offset by discounts. In terms of price, Tykables is a few cents above average and therefore still in an acceptable range. Especially as I was not disappointed by what was on offer, it fits well and is comfortable to put on and wear, not least because of the pleasantly soft outer film. The absorbency is decent, higher than average. For me, the diaper easily lasts half a day when I drink a lot. Of course, it's always difficult to make such generalized statements because they are different for everyone, if only because of the different amounts of liquid. But it gives a feeling that we are not dealing with an 0815 medical diaper that is already full to the brim after a few hours and starts to leak. Instead, we are dealing with a thick ABDL diaper that you can clearly feel and that gives you the assurance that it will not leak even with large amounts of urine, but can absorb everything safely. If that's not enough, you can add additional absorbent pads, the high leakage protection provides enough space for this. This is standard with ABDL diapers, I haven't seen any without it. It is only with purely medical products that this is not a matter of course. The only criticism I have, I don't find Velcro as practical as plastic, as it makes it more difficult to close the diaper. 
Unfortunately, Tykables is in the wrong place here, as they use Velcro for all their diapers, only their sister brand NRU deviates from this. Others may see this as an advantage because Velcro is less sensitive to dirty hands and especially oil or cream. Since it's all about disposal, Velcro is a compromise that I can live with from time to time. Apart from that, the overnights have convinced me and are worth a recommendation from my point of view. As always, the look is a matter of taste. How do you like the diaper? Have you already had them? Feel free to write about it in the comments and share it with other diaper wearers if you want to write about it. If you want to see more diaper videos, you can find many more tests of medical and ABDL diapers on my channel. Stay dry, until the next video.